Good evening, everybody. Let's spike things up with some volleyball. Truman State played its annual purple and white scrimmage. Truman State women's basketball coach and Hall of Famer Amy Egan coached the purple team while men's basketball boss Matt Woodley led the white squad. Let's go to the highlights. Freshman phenom Jasmine Brown sends one into your living room. If that was good, this is better. It's the Brack Attack All-American. Ali Brack is in midseason form. Good action. Nice crowd. The Bulldogs start their season next week as they head to Texas for a tournament. Before the scrimmage, the Bulldogs held a clinic for boys and girls. It was packed with youngsters who received some pointers on how to play the game. The Truman State players put the fun into fundamentals as they worked on passing and setting. It looks like everybody had a good time. In high school football, the Kirksville offense only managed 12 points last week. The Tigers hope to double that total Friday against Chillicothe by being more consistent. We make one good play and then three bad plays. We've got to continue to execute and continue to put good plays back to back. Defensively, we got we got to get better at tackling. Uh, we were trying to tackle the ball instead of the ball carrier. Their ball carrier is pretty thick, uh, but uh, too many yards after contact. We got to work on that this week. Skyler County starts its home season Friday against Marceline. Both teams will look to run the ball. We'll have highlights of that game and six others on Gridiron Lights. Of course, the big show is brought to you by Seiden Strickers and Cellular today. I would pay money to see the Pekin EBF game. Pekin has a lot of skilled players coming back, including the dynamic duo at running back. Chase Copeland rushed for over 1,000 yards last year as a sophomore. He returns, and, and, and maybe uh, the guy that probably uh, – Brings us the most intensity, and, and our biggest hitters, Tanner Adam, a senior fullback, middle, uh, a linebacker. Um, he just kind of brings that edge to us. Centerville will start its season with a team they're very familiar with, Sheridan. They have just some great talent. We look for them to throw the football. Uh, they've got some great out, uh, outstanding receivers. Uh, but they do, I, I just got the roster yesterday was looking at that they got some uh, hefty guys up front so I think they could run the ball too so they're gonna give us a stiff challenge uh, it's a good opener for both teams the Chiefs close out the preseason schedule tomorrow with the Packers you can see the game on KTVO CBS starting at 7 o'clock Indian Hills has announced its 2014-15 basketball schedule the Warriors will play 21 out of its 30 games at home for more details go to Heartland Connection Dot com. More late inning magic by the Royals. They scored six runs in the eighth. They beat Minnesota six to one. In high school softball, Putnam County beat La Plata 14 to one. And in tennis, Kirksville got back on the winning track as they beat Hannibal 12 to nothing. The Kirksville softball team will start its season tomorrow at five. The Tigers have plenty of experience, and it all starts with a couple of seniors. Sarah Hooper is a great player. I'm really excited that she's a part of this team. I think she's going to do awesome things for us in the outfield and at bat. Right now we're just working on how to make her speed work for us in a good way. Olivia is a huge asset to this team. Her leadership behind home plate sets a tone for the rest of the defense. Um, I'm, I'm so excited to see the things she does for this team as a catcher, but more importantly as a leader.